Yeah, out of nowhere, Megan James exploded during a game and asked Brandy Maxwell to spar. Now, what's really funny is how the ladies were only gathered playing a game that night, and when time came for Megan to speak, she took the high pitch. If you could change two things about yourself, what would they be and why? My question, I would change my relationship with God and bit off with people. Time to feel bad and when it's not, and I kind of run away. That was very amazing. Dre is really starting to piss me off. Frustrating to be around a whole bunch of fake bitches. Like I'm the only one that expresses my true opinion. Megan, you're next. I don't give a f if I feel some type of way, I'm gonna say it. You mad? I'm wrong. I'm okay, like, I don't know. What are you mad about? I just, like, I'm tired of making Jackie situation. Like, I don't give a f got a problem. It's nothing but space and opportunity. It's space and opportunity, so who exactly are you calling out? <laughs> the f got a problem with me and Jackie's problem. It's me and Jackie's problem. Yeah, hey, yeah. Where are you on now. Why did you come? You brought your ass over to us. I wanted to come to the fashion show, not to see any of you. Keep bringing up this stupid ass subject about Jackie. You should've kept your ass over where you were. Don't bring your ass another black woman for having a successful. Brandy Maxwell did not expect the heat when Tammy Roman dished her when she inquired about who asked that Tammy even be on the show. Now, Tammy got ready from the jump and schooled Brandy, although you could agree that Tammy also suffered a few shots. Searching to bring your little ass on our I'm gonna hear what you both. have to say. I'm not this woman right here who writes your checks and mine. Whether I am supposed to be here or not, it's about saving your mother job. You your I got job. reality show that'll give you you didn't get I a job, so you it ain't about me. You're so it's great. Take, if take you're a so page great, out of my if book. Like you're trying to go over to some other want, city. Even though if play, you're so you great, need you need to tell well. Evelyn too. No. I love you're Evelyn too, and no. it's not because. No. So until you Whatever. have other storylines and other to talk about, I, sir, what is your your husband? Line? Being a bully? No, you steal them. You steal them. I don't need to steal nobody's Tammy, purse. That I don't think that Drea meant it that way. What I choose to talk about is what I choose to talk about. So you're showing your immaturity. I know Cutting everything. I'm tired of that. No, you, you so are. mother grown, then you let a person speak. Felicia and Brandy lurched at each other right from the jump, and Zell's swag was in the middle of it all. Brandy thought that Malaysia was being hypocritical about inviting Zell to the gathering when she knew Zell was not on good terms with Brandy. Anybody that brings Zell know what they're doing. I did not bring Zell for you. I didn't bring him for anybody. No, you me. shut up and you stop, stop talking. You brought him knowing that he was going to say something. Know what you were doing? You brought Zell to the to the whole situation. To me. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You turn your Stop. Let me talk to Malaysia. Michelle, let's bring it. A different person. I do not want to be fighting over stupid She's been DMing Zell. So did she not tell you that? You know what's up? And Zell fell out a year ago, and he said something about her mom. I've been trying to reach out to him, talking about Zell, come see my new kitchen. And I feel like the real reason why Brandy and I are not as close anymore is because she got kicked off the show. For four years, looking for a reason. I am not the reason why you wasn't on anything. I tried to get to keep you on the show, but nobody I else was there. I think have a job. Okay. Okay. I never came at you on no boss, like I'm your boss, Brandy. Reason she blames me for it. Now she's blaming tonight on Zell. I filmed with her till the wheels fall off. She didn't want to film with me. I knew the rift between Brandy and Malaysia had to do with more than just her not reaching out. I didn't know that. I didn't know it went this deep. I didn't want to talk to her. Cut the f cameras, mother. Don't tell me to go outside. Get get outside. OG was asked to pray over dinner, and she did in a couple of languages mashed up together. And while everyone thought it was a good sign that the night would go well, OG decided to raise a topic that would make drinks fly, and she got her wish. OG, will you say the prayers? Biggie, Jesse Christie, Macau. Jackie Christie. I know. Did you pray you know. for Jackie? Je uh, Jesus Christ, Jesse Christie. Oh. Oh, that's very sweet. I'm only trying to make everybody get along, and I only want to do what's right. Since the whole collective is here. Oh, yeah. OG, you just said a nice prayer. Leave it at that. Um, that wasn't the time to address any issues in terms of where I'm coming from. I want you to be passive. I just want you to hear me out on what I was saying, how I felt. That was not the moment I felt 
appropriate? Yes, you are right. So I was wrong. Cece leaned over and said that there's no gray area. Byron ain't even Thomas's real dad. Trying to destroy the family. Obviously, I was right. It's exactly what I've been saying. And you don't think she's talking about your business? Never. Byron, Cece just told us that Thomas is not your biological child. Are you okay with that? And he said, yeah. I just think you should butt out of this family that don't have nothing to do with you. Cece told you those things because she was using you as a puppet and you did exactly what she wanted you to do. We're using each other. Cece is a for that moment. Before I met Cece's ass, Kristen was talking about. We have had several conversations. Did the same thing when she brought up my man. So I guess, I guess we're even. In this case, we all know who that one person is. It's always gonna be that goofy ass bitch that always gonna come around. Not even. Okay. You don't talk about me, I won't talk about you negatively. It's so many nasty things about myself. Okay. okay. It always feels right when one lady takes the bold step and calls out the BS that they've all been enduring. So when British called Malaysia out on her excuses, the other ladies seem to be in on it with her. Yeah. Okay. Is it, no, it's just you know. Mariah Carey vibes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, that's fine. I think Jackie just wants me to tell you that I slept with her baby no, father. The girls have done this to me before. I guess it could go. You know, I used to mess with Tyreek, which is Angel's baby dad. This is what I'm trying to figure out. So Ashley used to date your baby dad. After me, yeah. But bringing somebody around, whether it's you or anybody that has a problem with somebody in the group. Somebody that brings, they'll know what they're doing. It's not the first time Malaysia has done this. Didn't know Brandy Daddy died. It's not about you. It's it not about, about you. you. It's not about you. This is it never been about her. you. No, oh, no. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Why are you so mad? What you don't understand? Sitting around waiting to attack me with the first chance they get. Like, shouldn't be here. OK, can I say this? I can't. I really can't. Malaysia, where are you going? Why are you walking away? Because like it doesn't, thing. and I, we're just letting you know, like. You gotta stop walking away all the time to the whole thing. Sometimes it don't even be that serious, and then you walk away, and then it'd be a bigger problem than what it should be. You know my history so and the situation. You know that. Come back and readjust. You cool, girl. Yeah. You cool. I've known Malaysia a long time. I just found out. That's why I can't even argue, right? So. I apologize. But the words that she's saying don't even seem genuine. It, you know what? It's not, it wasn't a two. What it was was a general hello. I'm not going to be cool with I'm you. Okay I don't with trust that. you from I here to okay. I hear Malaysia talking out of her mouth. No, hey, you're, I'm not, not, you're not another word. Great. Great. You're not a real person. Yeah. Yeah. It was 20 yeah. years ago. Everybody's coming at me at once, and I did nothing. Yeah. Ever yeah. with Jason, That's you are back to I'm going to be telling you. On side, going to walk away because you know she's full of I'm gonna have a conversation you, with you. Malaysia, we you're very. We can sit down. Hey, no, 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 I'm not talking to them, I'm talking to you. We can go. Where that ass bitch? And all she gonna do is run like a track star and not confront the I'm The ladies were in Portugal for vacation when Tammy and Duffy could not keep their beef at bay. The lunch was already going awkward when suddenly it became violent. Tammy chose the high road against Duffy, and Duffy would not meet violence with calm. She also took the high road, but it did not end with Tammy and Duffy because Sean also got a hit in. I just said everything I had to say. I'm sure you heard me. Okay, I didn't hear you. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Tammy's coming for you. Wait a minute, Tam. No, Tam. I hope you read. <laughs> Bring it. Damn. To six mother got me clanked down and I can't move my arm. The look in Tammy's eyes. Tammy, Tammy, better breathe. Hold on. Tammy, 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 we got everything. We have everything. We have everything. Okay. It's not happening. It's not happening. Listen, Tammy. Feeling off what just happened. Just give me a day. Give me they left. Duffy and Brandy are gone, and she's calmed down a little bit, snapped, and she is not letting this go. Brooke ignored Malaysia when Malaysia said hi to her, and it made Malaysia think hard about the status of their friendship. Although things got fiery, both ladies buried the hatchet at the end. But there's still one little thing that I need to get off my chest. So I'm waiting for Malaysia to get here. Everybody. 
Have a seat. Let's talk over here. I want a hug, and when I get down to Brooke, she kind of shrugged away from me and told me that we had to talk. I have to talk about is when I asked you at my birthday party what the phone call was about. I thought you guys were cool, and why do you have on tennis shoes? And, you know, Bambi, why are you standing up? But I'm telling like, you, I'm telling you eye to eye that I knock your ass out, and that's just really what it is. It's not going to be a fair one because we don't do that. Here, pull back. That's a, that's a whoop ass outfit. Like, oh, she came to scrap with him. I know if she's trying to antagonize me or make me the butt of a joke. I'm going to bring it up. I'm bothered by that phone setting like this, and it's like, oh, okay, what am I walking into? Y'all don't know me. I don't know if y'all are like, oh, yeah, we're going to say we could with this bitch. Trying to make the situations better is making it worse. So I just, I'm going to just stay out of situations with, so I wasn't talking to you. And whatever, and I'm just trying to be a nice person. I'm not getting That's anything it. misunderstood. Right there. I didn't have a clue. When I sit down with you, you said y'all still hadn't had a chance to talk. I'd right. rather you talk to her separate. And then I was like, she's right here. I might have had Malaysia pegged for the wrong person. Fuck. Like, now I'm walking here, My I'm sick. I'm like, all right. What? All right. I get it. In episode four of season 11, Jennifer went out to meet Clayana for a conversation in a restaurant. When she arrived, she could not have expected to meet Clayana and the energy that she met her with. Things went ugly between them as soon as Jennifer sat down. No idea why this girl, Kalana, yeah, why this chick Kalanic wants to meet with me. How See are you? you? I'm wonderful. Ugh. So those actually weren't my words. It seemed like it was something negative because it was not I, I negative never said that. wrong way. It was literally like I am trying to figure out how do you know when I just was asking no, a question. Well, that's not, I put an aggressive energy. Person. Very, it was very what what is I don't like person? Can, everybody. Okay, so why are you here? Why are you here? Oh my God. We're all friends and we hang out. Why? I want to interview with you. Do you have kids? No, I don't. But she can't take it. You are a grown ass woman. Why are you friends with people? Because we have things in common. So if you come to me with that energy, I'm going to meet you where you are. Okay. We didn't have my daughter since so I was 25. It looks okay. like you're just trying to be you here ever? two years. No, you I was no with kids. my man for a whole decade. You don't get to question me. What's his name? Why do you, why does it matter? You trying to get a seat at the ticker off. No, baby. You're, you're, is he married? Do, you, do your research. You're okay. hanging on by a thread. You're hanging on by I, a thread. I think that's you, you boo. No, you were married 10 years ago. What? Nothing. Girl, bye. You're Jen's character when she got up and walked away. She, for, uh -huh. for 20 minutes, girl, you're trash. Okay. I got, I got a whole daughter. Yourself. It's sad, quite frankly. Get my face. First of all, they don't walk up on me. Wow. This bitch lost her, she put her 